It's time. What do I look like? Is my hair okay? <laughs>
came over, we gave him chicken stew, the preacher couldn't preach for a week or two. How do we to learn, huh? Now the deacon came over and gave her some too, but the deacon couldn't eat for a week or two. Hey now, honey, where did you learn to cook? Surely it's not a lot of it. Out of your mama's cookbook, I'm gonna leave here and I don't need no help. Be around here, gonna ruin my head. Stock market crashes. 
and a whole lot of unnecessary suffering. I can't help it. I'm born good just like you or anybody else. I just turned off me. Hate everybody that don't think like me, and I'd rather see you dead than ever see you free. Ten times I'd rather see you starve than work. Reading all the books I can to learn how to hurt. Used to be a fairly nice feller, and then I turned a scab. I turned off yeller, and I fought every you with teeth and toenail. And I sprouted a six inch stinger right in the middle of my tail, and then I growed horn. And I got lost. What a fool you. Keep you without no boat. Keep you without no job. I hated union everywhere because God likes me and I hate God. I just get everybody's brains a boiling in turpentine and their teeth are falling down out up and down the street, that suit me fine. And if I get the color to fight with one another and sister against brother, that'd be just it, cause I'm mean. I'm so mean. I'm just a sawed off son of a bitch. And it's the truth. I mean, folk, I am in hard luck. I'm in such hard luck that if I go up the street walking fast, I'll run over something. And if I come down the street walking slow, something will run over me. And if I sit down, I'm in everybody's way. I'm such hard luck. If my daddy was to die, they'd make a mistake and bury me. If I have to haul off and die, they'd make me walk to the cemetery. I'm in such hard luck. If it's raining down soup this very minute, all of y'all that have a spoon, I'd have a fork. <laughs> I was born in the last month of the year, in the last week in the month, the last day in the week, in the last hour of the day, in the last minute in the hour, in the last second in the minute, in the last half of the degree in the second, and the truth, I was lucky I got here at all. I remember the first day I was born, there was just three of us kids laying side by side on the bed, that's right. And I heard some stopping around in the hall, my dad had come in, took one good look at us three kids on the bed, and called out to my mom. Get in here and pick out the one you want, and we'll drown the rest off. Well, I didn't have my little age on me when my pa said, Son, I'm tired of feeding you around here. You want to get fed, you better go feed yourself. He threw me out, and here's what's happened to me since. I've been balled down, I've been balled out. I've been knocked down, I've been... I've been squeezed and I've been mooched and I've been cheated I've been held for excise, state dog and syntax I've been made to join the Society for John the Baptist The DAR, Women's Corps, the Men's Stomach and Relief Corps I've worked like heck, I've been worked like heck, I've been drunk Got others drunk I've been lied to and lied about and talked to and talked about and sung to and sung about and preached to and preached about and held up and hung up and doggone and I murdered and lost all I had and part of my furniture. And the only reason I'm sticking around here is just to see what happens next. That ain't hard luck. You tell me what is. <clears throat> and now, ladies and gentlemen, Somebody asked me about this on an email the other day. They said, how do you do that snare drum effect? Some guy out of the blue. How do you do that snare drum effect on United States March? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm about to show you. This is Reverend Gary Davis's United States March, the most ridiculous instrumental of all. <laughs> Twist the two strings together. It sounds just like a snare drum.
Someday by Charles Tindley. You might recognize it. I often wondered what he felt when he heard thousands and thousands of people singing. A song that he really, really, really.
I'm going home I'm going home I'm going home someday Here in my heart I do believe I'm going home someday Thank you. 
Back my feet. Oh, Well, I suppose I ought to play one of the other guitars here. Uh, oops. Sorry. This is my loud guitar. I tell the kids I don't need no electric. I truly don't. Here's kind of a romantic song from the depths of South Memphis. A man named uh, Big Jack Kelly. Now, I don't know if I made this up. I'm going to tell the story. I don't know if this is true, but it's a good story. This fellow, Big Jack Kelly, he was an enterprising gent. And he knew all of the best musicians in Memphis. He knew Will Bass, he knew Frank Stokes, he knew Dan Sane, he knew them all. And uh, so we got them together and they worked up a bunch of stuff and they were a for a while. Big Jack Kelly and his South Memphis Drug Busters. And this is one of their songs. Now I hear tell that he had a barbecue stand at the same time. So you can imagine they would be uh, like, they would work together. The barbecue would attract people and they'd listen to the music. And then they'd buy some, they'd come to listen to the music and they'd buy some barbecue. And they were singing songs like this. Cool and 
for a normal set about 45 minutes. 13 minutes? I got 13 minutes. Well, it's going to take up a few of them. Mississippi John Hurt, mm, a little bit of me throw in. <laughs> Here's a story about Casey Jones. He was a mighty engineer. His train was never late. It was never early. Always right on time. Always right on time. Every time. Every time. Every single time. Every time. Every single time. Except that one time. That was the first time and that was the last time. Because that time Casey was laying up in the South Memphis yard waiting for train time. Mrs. Casey was having a bad time. Mrs. Casey had a dream and in the dream Casey had a win. <laughs> Gathered up all the children, tied them to a raping string. Went down to the South Memphis yard, you know, down where Elvis lives. Walked all around the yard looking for Casey's engine, number 382. She found the engine, she found Casey. There he was, laying up, waiting for train time. Hollered up to Casey. Casey! Casey Jones! Casey Jones, don't leave me here. Casey Jones, don't leave me here. Little children come out crying, Daddy, Daddy, don't leave me here. Daddy, don't leave us here. That's too much for Casey. Turned to his farm, and his farm's name was Sim. He says, Get the bell, Sim. Let's go. It's kind of tall up. Sound like this when they got getting out of the yard. Get that right hand bend, go down over the Mississippi line. Catfish, all the branch Mississippi. Hello, Sanatobia. Goodbye, Holly Spring. Heading for Vaughn, Mississippi. Take a switch there. Go into the reading. blowed his whistle for him to get off the track. He wouldn't get off the track. Had to stop his train and run him off. I heard Casey when he was cutting down. Run down along the track there where them sheets was. Go home, sheets. You got no business on my railroad track. So the sheets went home. Casey run back to his engine, jumped back up in the cab. Through the Johnson bar all the way back. He had to make up his time. <laughs> They're making them late. Dog on them sheep. Dog on them sheep. Dog on them sheep. Who wouldn't even mess with that train? Just stand by the track with a hat in the hand. Casey's train was going so fast. Looked like 
big driving wheels in back, gonna catch up with the little pony trucks in front. feed themselves, you know, it was, was too long, the big long spoon. Went across the street to heaven, and dear hearts, that's the same thing, except they's feeding each other. <laughs> Yeah. 
get together right down here. Let us get together right down here. Let us get together.